Welcome aboard. Have you ever wondered exactly what pilots do just before they launch off the bow of an aircraft carrier? Well, I got you covered. My call sign is Pale. We're on the flight deck of the United States ship Theodore Roosevelt, aka CBN 71, aka the TR, the Rough Rider, or the Big Stick. And today, we're going to break down exactly what happens when we run up the throttles, wipe out the flight controls, and lastly, why we take our hand off the stick after the hand salute with the catapult stroke. Buckle up, it's gonna be fun from the flight deck of an aircraft carrier. All right, we've just vacated the six pack, which is just inboard of elevator two and a little bit forward of the island. We've pulled forward, we've made a right hand turn, and now we're lining up for catapult two. You see our director off our nose straddling the catapult, telling us to come forward. Coming forward, nice and slow. Coming forward. Coming forward. Forward, a little check to the left and stop. That hand signal means launch bar down. And now we're just waiting on the top side petty officer to hook up the whole back fitting to the nose gear. If you haven't done so already, now's a great time to hit the like button, subscribe, and make sure your notifications are turned on so you never miss a growler jam. Feel free to leave a comment. I'll try to read them all. Cheers. All right, the trainee says spread your wings. Look left, look right. Wings coming down. All right, we're coming forward now. As we push our launch bar up the nose gear launch track towards the shuttle. Coming forward, coming forward, and stop. All right, my left hand goes up. Not a signature move. Just waiting on the AOs. It's time to arm the jet. Both hands go up, while an already below the wing arms A120 on the cheek station. All right, check's complete. Little signature move. And now we see the shooter walk in front of the nose, doing one last check on the catapult. Now he's giving the hand signal to hook me, or to pull me forward into tension to the other shooters in the bubble. Coming forward and stop. Here we go. Okay, we're in tension, our feet are off the brakes, our parking brake is in or disengaged. And now it's go time. Step one, run up the throttles. You see me push up both throttles to MRT or a 100% thrust. Stop tape. With both throttles at military rate of power, we're looking down at the EFD or engine and fuel display. The EFD displays critical engine parameters in the bottom half of the display and fuel quantities in the top half. We don't have a lot of time to look at all the numbers on the display. All we're really doing is looking for anything that's all nines and or inverse video to tell us that we have an out of limit parameter. All right, play tape. Step number two, wipe out the flight controls. There's a lot going on here. Let's break it down. The Growler has 12 primary flight control surfaces including leading edge flaps, trailing edge flaps, ailerons, twin rudders, horizontal stabilizers, and spoilers. So when we aggressively wipe out the stick, what we're doing is we're deflecting the flight controls fully in all directions. And we're giving the flight control system the opportunity to bit or built-in test itself and identify any faults. So right after I wiped out the flight controls, I looked at the FCS page or the flight control system page on the right DDI. With no X's and no blends, the flight control system looks good and we're ready to go. Let's push play. Time for step number three, take your hand off the stick. Let's pause it right here. So you just saw me do two things, hand salute and then take my hand off the stick. Let's talk about why we do this. Immediately after the end of the catapult stroke, the aircraft, when it's all trimmed up and ready to go, will rotate to climb at 12 degrees AOA or angle of attack. To avoid pilot-induced oscillations or what we call PIO, our flight manual specifically prohibits pilots from holding the stick during a catapult stroke and or making large flight control inputs immediately following the catapult launch. We're taught to stay off the controls, but to closely monitor the catapult sequence. If I were to hold onto the stick, there's a good chance that due to the rapid acceleration, I would accidentally pull back on the stick. Pulling back on the stick before the jet has the airspeed to fly will all but guarantee the jet will wind up in the drink right in front of the boat. In order to prevent that, we hand salute, then we put our head against the headrest, we hold the handrail, and we wait. All right, let's get to it. Steps one, two, and three are complete, so we wait. <coughs> and now we hit him with a little how you doing to the ride for a clearing. See ya! Like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Welcome on Ground Gems. <laughs>